height of the pandemic, math scores were sliding in Hannibal, but now they're on the rise. So what is the district doing to help the students excel in math? WGEM's Rebecca Duffy is back from Marion County with more on this tonight. Rebecca. Daniel and Mackenzie, this table highlights the academic advancements Hannibal High School students have made in Algebra 1. From 2019 to 2021, the district's overall proficiency in Algebra 1 was lower than the state average, but this year they are surpassing the state average by 8%. And it's thanks to assessing students throughout the year to make sure they get the help that they need. I'm really happy with our math scores currently right now. The Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education released their December 2022 National Assessment of Educational Progress. While the state average is trending downward for math scores, the Hannibal School District is seeing the opposite. From 2019 to 2021, the district's overall proficiency in algebra was lower than the state average. But Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum Sean Brown says they worked to fix that. So what the state provides for us is priority standards that they say that we need to make sure that we are teaching to a mastery level. So what we do as a district is we take a look at those priority standards. We make sure that we align those with all the instruction that happens in our class and we write common assessments that we give throughout the year around those priority standards. And now in 2022, 50% of Hannibal students are proficient in Algebra 1 compared to the state average of 42%. Many elementary and middle school students are also seeing improvements. High school math teacher Whitney Nolan says not only does she focus on overall math concepts, she also teaches students how to use specific tools. We want to teach them how to use the tools available to them. So we work a lot with graphing calculators and uh, just any technology we can build in. Nolan says she often works with students who are falling behind outside the normal class hours. Uh, we work really hard to get kids to stay after school, come into homeroom, uh, just reteach and review with them uh, whatever they need to learn the material. Brown says their next step is to improve English language art scores by revising the curriculum. Eugene Fields Elementary School is one exception to the district's advancements in math scores. The district is discussing whether or not to extend Eugene Fields' academic calendar to help students who are falling behind. Rebecca Duffy, WGM News. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. And to see how your student's school is performing, just head to WGEM.com.